So what's your prediction for the Senate? November 9th, we wake up after the, the mess has cleared and votes have been counted multiple times. Who knows? What's your prediction for the Senate? Well, I think, you know, I'm I think I'm pretty optimistic. I just heard Rick Scott there say uh, 52 seats and I think that would be the high water mark to be honest with you. I think 5149 is also a real possibility. Uh, it's also possible that the Senate could come out of this tied once again uh, or even the Democrats hold a slight edge. You know, this is all going to come down to just a handful of very important seats and it wouldn't be a surprise to any of your viewers what states we're talking about. It'll be uh, states like Georgia and Pennsylvania and Ohio and Arizona and Nevada, mm. most likely. Uh, and whatever party can win most of those seats uh, will retain control of the Senate, take control of the Senate. And I think Republicans have a real good chance of a couple of good pickups. Uh, I think Georgia would be key. Arizona would be key. Nevada would be key. Any of those would be uh, fantastic victories. And then, of course, you want to hold on to the seats uh, that uh, are currently in your party's column, most notably Pennsylvania. And if uh, Republicans can hang on in Pennsylvania and pick up a seat or two in those other states, I think we'll have a great November 8th and uh, a fantastic January when uh, Congress returns turns and the Senate and the House are both in Republican hands once again. How can how can these races not be <laughs> how could like you said you were optimistic. How is it not like well 55 or 56 senators? How, how could all these people not be winning with the economy? We know through all the polls that people's number one concern is the economy and look at the economy. How are these Republicans not winning by more? Yeah, so, you know, it varies a little bit from state to state. A lot of times, because these are U.S. Senate seats, the, the election is being dictated by what are national current events. Certainly every poll that I have seen, both public polls from the networks and also internal polling from the campaigns that I'm involved in, everything says that the economy, inflation, gas prices, and also crime uh, are the top issues on voters' minds. And, and those issues certainly favor the Republican candidates in all of those races. But there are going to be issues in, in states that are that are more local and more specific uh, to that campaign and, and maybe more specific to the candidates that are running. Uh, so I think that the landscape and the issues that voters care about are very, very much in Republicans' favor. But within individual states, there are gonna be a lot of other issues at play. But you would think just yeah. in generic terms, the landscape favors Republicans, no question.